In this video, we are going to discuss network layered models. To reduce design complexities, most networks are organized as a stack of layers or levels, each one built upon the one below it. So most of the networking environments, the most of the networks, they are organized with the help of the number of layers they have, that have got organized where the one layer is upon the other layer which is below under it. The number of layers, the name of each layer, the contents of each layer and the function of each layer differ from network to net network. That means how many number of layers, what are the de definite purpose of that layer, what is the name of the layer, what is the abstraction on which these layers have got developed. So, they may differ from one network to another network. The purpose of each layer is to offer certain services to the higher la layers and shielding those layers from the details of how the offered services are actually implemented. So, each and every layer has got a dedicated service. This service it will provide to the next higher layer, but how this service has got implemented for that point, the implementation type of point will remain, will be shielded from the, from the outside. In a sense, in a sense, each layer is a kind of virtual machine offering certain services to the layer above it. Now, in this diagram, we have considered a five layer model, it is totally one abstraction. Just see host 1 to host 2, they are doing the communication. There are five layers are there, layer 1, layer 2, layer 3, layer 4, layer 5 for host 1 and similarly we are having for host 2. Layer 5 is the highest layer and layer 1 is the lowest layer. So, that is why it is got connected with the physical medium. So, layers, protocols and the respective interfaces. So, now here we are having the interface between layer 1 and 2. So, layer 2, 3 interface in this way you are having this respective interfaces between the layers and this is our layer 1 protocol which will guide the rules and regulations of to be performed, to be followed, to be obeyed in this respective layer. The following diagram depicts information flow supporting virtual communication in layer 5. So, here you see here this is our layer number 5 and this is our say host 1 that is our host 2 in that case. So, here what is happening this particular layer is trying to do through these layers the host will try to do the communication with the other host through the intermediate layers. So, this is the message at layer number 4, this message will be added with some header part. So, H4 M M stands for the message and here in case of level 3 another additional header will be added. So, here we can have this one H3 which is M2, M2 is consisting of this part we can consider in this way. So, now this is our, this is our layer number 2. So, along with this the header 2 will be added. So, header 2 is 3 then the respective M2 and the respective T2. So, in this way we are having this header, we are having this trailer and this is the layer 2 protocol which will be doing the communication in between. This is a layer 3 protocol which will be doing the communication. Similarly, for layers in the same level we will do the communication through some protocols, through some rules and regulations and here we are having this source machine to destination machine the data will be flowing through the physical media. Some of the key design issues that occur in computer networks are present in several layers. So, each and every issue we are going to discuss in details. So, every layer needs a mechanism for identifying senders and receivers. So, unique addressing is required. So, each and every layer should identify that who is sending this message and to whom it has to be directed. So, that is why each and every sender or the receiver must be identified by some unique address. The protocol must also determine how many logical channels the connections cor connection corresponds to and what their priorities are. So, these protocols will de define the respective connections and the respective channels, how many channels in the connections and what their respective priorities. So, proper error control will ensure quality data transfer. Obviously, we should not expect that the during transmission the data will get corrupted. So, that is why we should be uh, we should be proactive in that case. So, proper error control must be ensured so that quality data transfer can be done. 
flow control mechanism will synchronize synchronize between the communicating nodes flow control means if the sender sends the data in a very fast fashion in a very fast rate if the receiver is not capable to accept that one then the respective message will be lost on the way so that's why there should be a synchronization between the sender and the receiver and that can only be done using flow control mechanisms so message segmentation and compilation and then implementation of routing algorithms which will decide that in which route this particular messages will be transmitted and we know that we have seen that in case of different layer architecture we can see that a single message will be broken down into multiple different packets and those packets will be sent so that's why segmentation of the packets and at the receiving end compilation of those packets to get back the uh, undivided message so all these things are to be the respective purpose of these layers so in this case in this particular video we have discussed network layered models thanks for watching this video tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning